Leicester v Sevilla in the final preseason game before everything kicks off on Sunday for the Premier League for Leicester City. This was our one and only home preseason game this season. It's basically the same every year. We get a big European team to come and play us for our last game as basically a final warm up before the season begins in the Premier League. This year was no different with Sevilla being the European giants coming to the King Power once again as they did in the Champions League a few years ago to see whether they could get some good fitness, score some goals, and see how they do. So I recorded a few bits, and this is going to be the first vlog of many this season. Hopefully you do enjoy it. Let's get into it. Here we go then. On the way to Leicester v Sevilla. First and only home preseason game this season. We always have it against a big European team. Team news has just come out. You'll see it right now. Um, doesn't look like their strongest side, whereas for us, it's probably the side that's going to start our first game of the season. So, I'm going to say 4-0 Leicester win. Let's do it. few clips to show you what the vibe was like at that Sevilla game now. There's not too much to talk about in regards to a preseason friendly. Most of the time you are hoping that you are just going to be trying out potentially some new formations and systems. Fitness is key and you're trying to get everybody up to match fitness levels ready for the season to begin. The one thing that you want to avoid, as we found out last season with Fafana getting his leg broken against Villarreal, you don't want injuries in preseason, and I think we need to stop playing decent Spanish sides because Ricardo Pereira got injured, uh, Wes is recovering from a groin injury, but that's not their fault. Barnes got injured in this game as well. Hopefully, though, it's uh, just a little bit of a knock and it's not going to be too big of a problem. Brendan has come out today and said it could be worse, and so... Hopefully it's not it's not too bad, but the Ricky P injury is big and yet again We see a potentially pivotal player get injured just before the season begins now we do have JJ and Castagna who can play on either side really and so we do have fullbacks there Amati can cover it right back if need be all right and as a wing back you've got Luke Thomas left back Bertrand if he exists I don't think anyone knows and so it could be worse but it still sucks massively now in terms of the game there's not massive amounts to talk about we put out a stronger team than Sevilla did they had played the day before and got <laughs> done in 6-0 by Arsenal uh, where they played more of their starters in that game and so it was sort of Second tier players, a couple of starters thrown in there. Basically, sort of what we've been doing where you're mixing and matching your starters and subs. So, we put out a strong team. Potentially what we're going to play against Brentford in our opener of this season. Now, this also meant that Everson started in goal. Casper played the second half. Today, it appears a fee has been agreed of 1 mil and that he's 
going to Nice. Now, whether that means we're actually going to get a replacement or whether Everson and Ward are going to be fully battling it out for the number one this season, we'll have to wait and see. But it's very much intriguing to see how the wages that are freed up from Schmeichel going. He's like the second highest earner at the club on like 120, 130k a week. How that gets spread. Do we give Madison a new contract and bump him up? Do we use it on some newer signings? We'll have to wait and see. But that was interesting to see. Everson, he made one very, very good save and generally did okay. The rest of the team was as expected. We created some opportunities. Some points where Vardy potentially could have shot but didn't. Um, we then had some appearances in the second half of people like Daka, Buba Sumare, Tielemans came on, as did Dennis Pratt. Now, Tielemans was probably the worst of the three that came on. Sumare showing signs of why we got him driving through midfield, having the composure to dribble past a man and then pick out a pass. Dennis Pratt was fantastic when he came on. He sort of started centre mid, but then left wing, and he created a couple of chances. He created an incredible opportunity for Daka uh, with a looping cross, which Daka unfortunately headed into the post and then the keeper. Uh, unfortunately, uh, unfortunate not to score. Dak himself potentially could have shot earlier on another opportunity where yet again he was played through perfectly by Dennis Pratt. There were good positive signs and definitely things to take from this game that are good rather than, oh no, we're not ready for this season. I would love us to keep Pratt. Daka is hopefully going to get a lot more minutes this season and looks like he's bedding in with our players and our system a little bit better, which is really, really good. Sumare is a bit hit and miss as to whether I would be keen on him staying or not. I'm still not 100% sure. It depends how he can play in the Prem when it matters, doesn't it? So that was our final warm-up, basically, before the season begins. Am I confident? I guess you'll have to wait until I release my Premier League predictions video in the next few days. Now, what I should also say is, if you are not already, please do follow me on TikTok, because I've made a second TikTok that is basically this channel but shorter content. And so if you want to see also updates on like one minute long videos of talking about new bids of our players and transfer news and res results and thoughts on games and thoughts on the F1 and anything like that, then that link will be in the description as well. And I really hope that you can go and check that out. But let me know what you are looking forward to in terms of this season. Are you excited as a Leicester fan? Are you just excited in general? Do you support someone else? Let me know, but I thought I'd just make a brief video on this as a bit of a warm-up for the season beginning. This week, we're going to have lots of content, and then that's going to keep getting pumped out throughout the season. So, I will see you very soon for another video. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.